G'day guys, welcome back. I'm playing with the pinks and burgundies again. Uh, the last video I used them, but I added some teal. But now I thought I'll add some gold. So staying with the same colours, the charcoal, the pink, the burgundy and the pale pink and the white. But as I said, took out those two teals and replaced it with a gold. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I wanted to show you these little guys. They dry now. These were the experiments with the um, Vallejo gloss medium with the glue and water mix. So, yeah, they've turned out really well. They, they've dried nice and vibrant. They haven't gone, like, extra dark or anything. Like, some, some paints, they go quite dark when they dry, but I don't think it's changed a lot. So those were the two little ones. And then... There was this bigger one, also dried beautifully. Really love this pale area here. So yeah, that might inspire me to do another painting. Sort of, I prefer this half to that half. So maybe I'll try something again in those colors. But yeah, it's dried really pretty. Has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's nice and smooth. So that's worked out really well them away from my little shelves. Righto, uh, back to the flip-flops. Flip the cups over and then flop them around. And same as last time, pouring medium is 60% Elmer's glue oil and 40% water. I just make up a big bottle. I actually make up a four litre big jug and then I just decant into these uh, because it's easy just to pour what I need out so they have been mixed one part pouring medium to one part paint and the paint today is the montmartre studio acrylic um i pretty much made up all my own colors mixed them with white and reds and things like that and this one with some blue just to get the colors i want i can't get the montmartre gold in australia so i'm using the global gold and that one is one part pouring medium to two parts gold because the gold tends to fade away into the background so it has to be made thicker. So that's it there. Um, I think I've told you everything I need to tell you. And uh, Let's get on to pouring. Put in our treadmill silicone for cells and as usual three drops put four in here. I made up a little bit more burgundy because I really wanted that burgundy pop. And I think I've got too much paint. <laughs> oh. I've started using a bit of extra paint um, with my kind of my new technique for pouring where I flip and then cover the whole canvas very carefully before I torch. So I've actually realised that I do need more paint because once I've flipped the cups over, spread all the paint out, I still want a nice thick layer of paint left. Um, I don't want like a really thin layer left on the surface because then when I torch I don't get enough cells up because there's not very thick paint there. So I've worked out that I need to use more paint for this particular technique. So... Probably, I used to do 600 grams for this size, so probably, uh, I think the last one was 700. This one, because I've added more to the gold to thicken it up, and I made extra of the burgundy, I probably got more like 800. So I may not use it all. We shall see. All right, I think I've stirred the silicone enough. Go around again. I just want to make sure that I don't get any big blobs of oil this time. Give it a really, really good stir. Haven't got any black in the charcoal. I decided the charcoal looks really pretty rather than black. It's just a little bit, um, a little bit softer, isn't it? So I'm going to do three layers of the charcoal. I liked how I got that, those black lines between the flip cups last time. If you saw that, you saw how I got the two lines. And that's because I put black on top. So whatever you put on top when you flip over is going to make your lines between your cups. So, just do two layers. This is my third pour for today, you guys. I'm on a roll. 
And then tomorrow, tomorrow's shopping, you know, groceries and chores around the house. So I'll still try and get a couple of pours in because it's Sunday tomorrow and I do like to do a few on the weekend. Have the weekend off this weekend, no classes today, Saturday. Got another one next Saturday, but not today. So today I get to pour. I get to do three pours today. I don't know whether I'll do another one tonight. I'll see how I feel. I'm having trouble coming up with new colour schemes and things for you guys. <laughs> if, you, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I'll try and do it. I'm not saying that I can, but I'll try. Like colour schemes and things. So I had someone earlier ask me to do the, the autumn fall colours, so I did that one. But yeah, if there's something you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just go back to my blues. Wouldn't mind trying the blues and the teals with um, the gold. So I've left some charcoal in there. I'm only doing very little layers of the charcoal. Because I want to do three layers of it. And the others have all got two layers, two bigger layers. The charcoal's got three smaller layers because it can take over and it can go a little bit muddy, especially if your mix is a bit too thin. Just have to be careful not to have your, your black or your dark colours too thin because they, they will really take over and muddy all your other colours. Oh, look at that. I'm using all the gold. Here I'm saying I'm not going to use everything. Hmm. Oh well, I can tip it off, hey. It's not like I can keep it because there'll be such a tiny little bit in the bottom. It won't be worthwhile me keeping for another pour. don't know if I want to put the, the white on because I'm going to put a layer of black next. You know what happens with white and black. So I might just leave that white. Uh, there's a tiny bit left of that. I won't bother with it. And a little sprinkling of the charcoal what was that i thought i saw something in there maybe not i used these same cups earlier so i'm just a bit worried that it might have a little bit of dried up goobery paint in the bottom there Okay, that's enough. We're done. Let me wipe my hands. Now I'll do the same as last time. Do a bit of a, a flip. So I can do a flip flop like so. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just flip. I I don't know. I don't want to get lines as such. But you always tend to get lines when you drag your cup. You do get a little bit of lineage happening. I didn't do too bad with my drips, did I? Must have been a bit more careful. So I'm keen to see what this is going to be like. It may still be a little bit too light. I'm really after a more of a dark, rich, royal-looking painting. But because it's got this pale pink and the white in it, might not be too dark but then if you go the opposite way and it's too dark it doesn't look that attractive does it, it just, especially when it's dried it looks a bit dull okay let's do this oh dear lots of black oh look at that the edge of the cups dripped onto it well that's totally different 
think I'm going to do this one. The colours have all poured in on top of each other. It's because I've got so much paint that I told you I didn't need all that paint, but I used it anyway. Okay, well, it's looking quite dark at the moment. hope my gold comes up. Now I've got my corner catcher organised. So we'll do the same thing as last time. Take the paint into the corner, bring it right back so it doesn't all go off the edge. You need to keep it there, don't you? I'm not going to go through it again why you need to keep it there. I'll be sick of hearing it, hey, telling you each video. Hopefully you guys are following me and you know what I'm talking about. Hey, my little experiments. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, carried my hand over the top there. You guys saw that, didn't you? Naughty, naughty. Shouldn't have done that. I didn't drip, though. I'm going to keep that bit of pink on the corner there because I like that. Okay, you can sit there. Well, it's quite dark, isn't it? Maybe I should have put that extra layer of white in. All right, where's all the gold? See what happens once I torch, hey? Whoops, paint everywhere. Just all I've got my painting scrubs on, I'm making a mess. Here we go. Torch from up high. See, I'm so high, but I'm not even popping bubbles. There it goes. Got a little bit closer. I don't really like that black haze that I've got over the top. Must have got a bit too much of the charcoal. Maybe half. I did cut down on the charcoal by 10 grams, but it's um, still quite dominant. But I did want a dark painting, so can't complain. No one listening, no one cares. <laughs> Alright, some more little, so we've got some lighter cells popping up through there. I can get some lighter ones through there and hopefully that will lighten the background a touch. Okay, that will do for now. And have a look, see what I like, what I don't like. I like that darker corner with the pale pink cells in it that's really pretty i'm thinking i don't like this blob here so may I'll, I'll try and get some of that off first eh? because i do need to take some of the paint off it's too thick can't leave all that on there and i want to stretch my cells out so i do need to move the paint so let's get it moving Way too much paint on there. Okay, so that's gone. Gone skis. Right, where else? Hmm, don't know, I'm not loving the colours. I thought it would really pop. Maybe it's because I've used charcoal instead of black. So it's getting quite grey with the white. Maybe. The gold, even though I've made the gold so thick, see how the gold cells are bigger and they're a little bit wonky? Let me get some of that off and that blob there on the corner. I'm just going to walk it 
back and forth, back and forth until I can get off what I want to get off. Okay. Alrighty, um, I think that will probably do. <laughs> oh, not one of my best, I'm afraid. I thought the colour scheme would be good, but not so much. Let's see if we can get some cells up in these blank areas. baby ones. Okay. Well, I must apologise for this one, you guys. It's not my best. Um, I do still like that, <laughs> that little bit there. But um, it's probably the gold. Yeah, the gold just doesn't do it for me. And then in here, the um, the charcoal has gone kind of grey. So it's just not not popping the way it should. But hey, I am happy to show you my failed pause. Some of you may like it. Just because I was expecting a more dramatic look. Doesn't mean it's an ugly paw, it's just not what I was expecting. But when are paws ever what we were expecting? Hey, very, very rarely do we get what we expect with the paw. The paint just does what it wants to do, doesn't it? Maybe it's this bright pink in here. I don't know, just something, something is just not sitting right with it. Maybe it's just me, hey? Maybe you guys like it. <laughs> All right, I'll take you down for a close-up. And you can see what you think. I've been doing lots of pink lately. Yeah, so maybe the black would have been better instead of the charcoal. See how in the middle there it's gone grey? It's gone a bit greyish there. And that could be the black with the pale pink doing that. And it could also just be the, the not the black, the, the charcoal with the pale pink or the charcoal with the, the white. Oh, look, there's a little strip of burgundy. Some burgundy in those cells there. The background is more burgundy really. Haven't got a lot of burgundy cells. It's more that the background's gone, got the burgundy in it. So there you go. Can't say I'm thrilled with that one. But hey, I can't love, love, love them all. Can I? I'll show you Dream Weaver. She's down here, still drying, aren't you? Hurry up and dry so I can put you in my room. Oops, there she is under the big netting there. Doing well, looking nice. So there you go. All right, back we come to this little monster so let me know what you think i don't mind if you say you don't like it i won't be hurt <laughs> you can't like them all but um yeah it's okay it's a color scheme i wanted to try and i tried it and it didn't work so moving on all right thanks for watching i'll see you for the next pour bye for now